2019 is finally over and all we can say is what a year. From a new office to hearing the whole crowd cheering us on in Paris to launching some of our most ambitious projects yet, we had a lot happen. So let's take a look back on all the highlights from the year 2019. This year was one of our most successful competitive years yet as we played in leagues and tournaments around the world. We entered both the PUBG Europe League and the competitive Apex Legends scene, had two players participating in the inaugural seasons of Hearthstone Grandmasters, and were invited to be a part of ESL's Rainbow Six pilot program. For League of Legends, we cemented ourselves as one of the best Western teams in history by winning both LEC splits, winning MSI, and finishing second at Worlds. Smashing the records for both the fastest European and international competitive finals, our creative picks and fluid style helped define Season 9 of competitive play. For their achievements, we were honored to have the teams be awarded Esports Team of the Year by both the Esports Awards and Game Awards. In CSGO, we kicked off the year by welcoming Amonek as our new in-game leader. With our new roster, we finished second in Montpellier at the ESO Pro League Finals and won the Good Game League in Poland. Even bigger changes were still to come as we took our roster global, introducing Hunter and Nexa to the squad. We end the year winning the Champions Cup, setting us up for even greater heights in 2020. While our Siege team had their stumbles, they were able to defend their 6th Invitational title in February and finish 2nd at the Rally Major. With Sua, Uno and Kryn, we're ready to get back and remind everyone why we're the best team to ever play Rainbow Six. For Rocket League, Chicago joined us at the start of the year, helping us finish 3rd at RLCS, 2nd at the Finals for Season 7, and 2nd at DreamHack Montreal. But that is enough of 2nd place for us, 2020 is the year we shine with all the trophies. However, this year wasn't just about winning in competition, we dominated in the content department as well. Six new content creators joined us in 2019, including Hafu and Orb. What's up, guys? We tried all sorts of new things, including our popular voice comm series, documentaries such as the Making a Series, starring Carlos himself, and bringing back Making the Squad for a second season. Our YouTube channel reached unprecedented heights this year with 200,000 new subscribers and over 1.5 million hours watched. Alongside our content, we had a lot of fun interacting and memeing with our fans on social media, and we saw our Twitter and Instagram grow to six. 650k and 700k respectively. We can't believe the support the G2 Army has given us this year and we can't wait to show you another year of memes and videos. We're always grateful for the support and faith of our sponsors as we continue to move forward in being the best in the business. As such, we're proud to continue our partnership with Logitech, Aorus, AOC, PaySafe Card, Nice Cactus, and Twitch, as well as welcoming Red Bull, MasterCard, and HDAC to the G2 family. As Carlos always says, look like you smell good. We released seven new collections, a brand new jersey for 2019 with limited edition versions for the Six Invitational, MSI, and Worlds, a new Polish jersey, a hoodie, and everyone's favorite tea, the Carlo Tea. We also brought back the French jersey, our samurai masks, as well as a fresh new spin on the G2 flag. For 2020, we're ready to keep the G2 army all decked out in style. 2019 had us move into our brand new office in Berlin, which we quickly put to good use. We held watch parties for the LSE Spring Split and MSI. We gave advice to those hoping to get into the esports industry with our jobs and esports event, and even came together with Domino's to host some epic watch parties for Worlds. We're also grateful for the support of our investors as we completed a $17.3 million investment round in February and brought Joseph Tsai onto our board as we look westward to New York for further expansion. With our successes, we're honored to have Carlos Caps and Hafu named as one of Forbes 30 under 30. And that's 2019. It's pretty crazy to look back and see everything that we've achieved, but we've got so much more planned for 2020. We promise you more trophies, more apparel, and of course, more solid hot memes. Thank you for all the support this year, and here's to many more.